Our latest 58 Hometowns visit brings us to a destination spot for many people looking to get away here in Wisconsin. That's right. Amanda Porterfield will have reports from Lake Geneva throughout the entire day on CBS 58. Joining us for a preview is CEO of Visit Lake Geneva, Stephanie Clark. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. So tell us a little bit about Lake Geneva because so many people use it for bachelorette parties, just trips, just going to Wisconsin. That's the first place they go. We well, you know one of the things people are surprised about is uh, we're a world class destination, but Lake Geneva is really just a city of 8,000 people. So the star is Geneva Lake itself. It's one of the cleanest lakes in Wisconsin. It's one of the largest inland lakes. Uh, it's spring fed. So we have world class sailing. We have the Lake Geneva cruise line. You can rent a boat, you can paddle board. We even have surfing. And of course, I think one of the stars with Geneva Lake comes with the Lakeshore Path. So you can literally walk a, you know, a, a, around the lake, but you're walking through the backyards of these historic estates, and that's okay. You're gonna feel like you're doing something wrong walking on this path, going through someone's backyard, but you're gonna pass houses like um, the Wrigley's and the Maytags and the creator of Barney and the creator of the Young and the Restless. It's crazy, it's very surreal, it's beautiful. We have tons of beaches, uh, it's historic. So it's a destination that will wow you. Yeah, that is an amazing hike to look to your left if you're going the right direction. Oh, look at the lake, it looks amazing. You look to the right, look at that house, look at I the know. lake, look at that house, look at the lake, <laughs> look at that house. And that goes on for about three hours all the way around. Yeah, it's about 26 miles uh, if you walk it. And a lot of people flock to Lake Geneva to do just that. And something that's new is we have a woman who just built part of the short path. It's called the Miracle Path. So there are these beautiful sayings. You can ring a bell to expect a miracle. And they even have a glass encased journal that you can write your thoughts in and pray for a miracle. It's really unique. If you've never done the Geneva Lake Shore Path, you have to try it. Absolutely. Also, Stephanie, give us somewhere to eat. What's, your, what's one of your favorite places? Okay, well, it, it, it's like saying, what's your favorite kid? If you want something elegant and wonderful, go to the Grand Geneva. They call it the Grand for a reason. Uh, they have the Geneva Chop House and also a restaurant called Brasago. But I love eating downtown Lake Geneva at places like Oak Fire, which is 92nd Na Napoleon style pizza, um, a place called Barique with lots of different kinds of wines and seafood. You can't go wrong with with the restaurants in Lake Geneva. And literally all you need to do is go downtown, start to walk and look at their menus. All right, Stephanie. Well, we can't wait to see uh, what Amanda's tour looks like today. Thanks for joining us this morning to start it. Uh, thank you. It's time now for another stop on our CBS 58 Hometowns Tour, this time in Lake Geneva. The city was originally known as Geneva, changing its name to avoid confusion with the nearby town on Geneva. The city is home to TSR, the company that created Dungeons and Dragons. CBS 58's Amanda Porterfield is live there with a look at a dual bike shop and bike themed cafe. Hi, Amanda. Good afternoon, Monse. Listen, if anybody has ever been to Lake Geneva, then you already know that there are so many unique places, interesting places to visit, which brings thousands and thousands of tourists here every year. We have had a packed morning already. We uh, got to take a walk on the Lakeshore Path. We saw some beautiful homes around the 21 mile path that goes around Geneva Lake. Then we got to set out on the Geneva Cruise Line, get out on the water. We talked to a captain. Now we're at Avant, Avant Cycle Cafe. That's and right. It is really interesting. First of all, this is just a prop because I've already had all of my coffee because it's that good. And good. the concept here, we're here with Andrew Gruber, who is the manager here. And thank you for joining us, Andrew. Happy to do it. The, the concept here is pretty simple, right? It's on the wall, drink coffee, ride bikes. That's right, yeah. We're here to help people get out and enjoy life on a bike, around the lake, or just uh, going to work every day. Yeah, so talk about how this concept came about. Um, it really started with bike mechanics spending so much time at a coffee shop, they thought they'd throw the two together so that they could work on bikes and stay caffeinated all day. Uh, so we started here in downtown Lake Geneva in uh, 2018. 
Okay, and since then, what have you seen? I mean, this place has a lot to offer. Can you talk about how the place has grown and what people can see and get when they come here? Sure. Uh, well, uh, during the riding season, all through the summer, we lead some uh, Sunday breakfast rides, casual, no-drop rides. Anyone can tag along, go out and get some breakfast. Um, we're actively involved with local cycling groups, the NICA team out of the high school. Um, yeah, we do all sorts of stuff. We uh, get a lot of our coffee from Lake Geneva Coffee Roasters locally, uh, and we do a little roasting in-house for our cold brew and stuff like that. So basically, people can come in here and get some coffee, some food, and get their bike serviced, and what else? Yeah, uh, bike rentals, too. During the summer, we rent uh, bicycles, e-bikes, so you can uh, ride near Lake Geneva, see the city, see some sights. Yeah. So did you hear that, Bill Walsh? They have e-bikes here. I'm going to ride one later. But let's talk about the food um, and the coffee. Sure. You said that a lot of the vendors are local. Uh, yeah, we do as much locally as possible wherever we can. Um, we've got quiche and burritos for breakfast. we got pastries. Um, we do all sorts of stuff locally whenever possible. And you said that you've kind of tried to build a community here. Yeah, as best we can. You know, we like people to come out and hang out and have a good time, whether it's for cycling or not cycling at all, and they just want to sit and catch up and have a cup of coffee. Thank you so much for talking with us, Andrew, and letting us experience this wonderful, wonderful place. Really cool. Gotta, I'm, I already had the coffee, so I am absolutely going to try some food, and like I said, I'm going to jump on an e-bike. We've got a lot of things planned for our visit here in Lake Geneva. We're going to head over to a gym that is very unique. They, they offer unique services to veterans, so we're going to check that place out and some other things while we're here. So make sure to tune in to the CBS 58 News at 4, 5, and 10 to see the rest of our visit to Lake Geneva. For CBS 58 Hometowns, I'm Amanda Porterfield. Back to you. Thanks, Amanda. That looks wonderful. I love Lake Geneva, so that'll be added on my list. Now, we've already been to more than 50 hometowns in southeastern Wisconsin. To see any you might have missed, check out our YouTube page at youtube.com slash CBS 58 TV. Another stop on our CBS 58 Hometowns tour. Today, we're in Lake Geneva. The city was originally known as Geneva, changing its name to avoid confusion with the nearby town of Geneva. According to the 2020 census, the population in Lake Geneva, 8,277. The city is home to TSR. That is the company that created Dungeons and Dragons. Interesting. And among the many businesses in Lake Geneva, there's a gym that offers special services and support to veterans and first responders. That's CBS 58's Amanda Porterfield visited Project Veteran Muscle Gym to learn a little bit more. We've had a beautiful day in Lake Geneva, spending most of our time outside, but now we are inside at PVM Gym, and we're talking with the owner, Nick Pint. Thank you so much for having us today. Oh, thank you for coming out. Nick, you know, this gym, open 24-7, is open to anyone, but especially veterans and first responders. Why? Um, we, when we opened the gym, or when I opened the gym, I wanted to do something that gives back to the veteran and first responder community. Um, because otherwise it's, I don't know, just the point of opening a gym all by itself. But uh, the way that we do it is veterans and first responders, they get a discount. Uh, but then service-related disabled veterans, they get the percentage of their disability off of the, the veteran rate. So uh, if they're 100% disabled, their membership is totally free. Um, and then we try to try to help them out specifically with personal training and then anything else that they need. Um, we have a couple counselors that donate their time here and there um, to help them out too if they want that. Um, so, but you're not a veteran. Why is this so important to you? Um, I have a lot of a lot of friends and family that are veterans and first responders. So, um, it kind of hits home with me. So, I definitely I wanted to give back to them specifically. So, why a gym here in Lake Geneva for veterans? What do you think that does for people um, in that range, along with first responders? Um, there's not a lot of things for them to do. In the area, you have you have the the VA and the VFW and stuff like that, but um, things such as like the VFW and everything, it's kind of all based around drinking and stuff like that. So, so we try to give them something else to do that's a little bit healthier and then a little bit more constructive for the mental aspect of things. Anything so, else you want people to know about PBM Gym? Um, we're growing. We're always growing. Always getting more equipment. Um, 
running specials probably coming up around the new year like everybody else does <laughs> so uh, other than that we're just trying to grow as much as we can so we can reach out and and touch as many of the veterans and first responders in our community and and get them what they need so Thank you so much, Nick, for yep. having us. And we have had a busy day here in Lake Geneva. We got to go to a combo cafe and cycle shop called Avant Cycle Cafe. We got to take a walk around Geneva Lake along the Lakeshore Path. And then we also got a chance to um, head over to the Geneva Cruise Line where we got to get out on the boat and get out on the water and just see everything that this city has to offer. And of course, those stories will be on on the CBS 58 News at 5 and 10 o'clock. So you might think of Lake Geneva as a resort town, but its history actually dates back centuries. Geneva Lake was formed by glaciers 20,000 years ago, but our Amanda Porterfield shows us the modern Lake Geneva. For today's 58 Hometowns Tour, we are hanging out in Lake Geneva on Geneva Lake, a beautiful city with lots of history and something for everybody to do all year round. Hello, uh, my name is John Hawkinson. We're currently on board the uh, U.S. mail boat Walworth, uh, cruising Geneva Bay on uh, beautiful Geneva Lake. Well, the town is the city of Lake Geneva. The lake is technically Geneva Lake. The water is very calming. I've probably been around the lake a thousand or better times in my lifetime, and I never get sick of seeing the scenery, and uh, especially this time of year. A very interesting note of our lake is we have a shore path that goes around the entire perimeter of the lake. Hi, I'm Barb Krause. We are on the Geneva Lakeshore path in front of Stone Manor. Our Geneva Lakeshore path is probably one of the only paths like it in the United States. It's about almost 22 miles. It's a path that's been around for literally hundreds of years, dating back to old Native American trails and early settlers. To walk this path, it is truly a living history of sorts. You still have mansions along the path that were built right after the Great Chicago Fire. Even today, we still have a lot of prominent families living here. We have properties that have been in the same family for generations, and that just makes it a really cool story. Hello, I'm Andrew Gruber, and we're at Avant Cycle Cafe. It's a, a fusion of two passions that really complement each other. A lot of cyclists love coffee because it helps them go faster, and a lot of people who don't even cycle love it for the same reason. So it just kind of grew together naturally, and uh, we've been here now for four years. So they can get uh, the best coffee in town. You can get fresh pastries, bagels, quiche. We do sales service, and uh, during the riding season, we do rentals as well. Here we go! It's a great place to be and work and hang out. We serve great coffee and service great bikes. Well, we've had a great day of making wonderful memories here in Lake Geneva, and I can't wait to come back this winter and make even more. For 58 Hometowns, I'm Amanda Porterfield.